Hey everybody, this is Jackie Jean with Jean Photography and I wanted to share with you one of my sky overlay edits and I do include a video in the sky overlay bundle as well but I wanted to post it on the blog that way you guys can see more of an idea of how to do it too. So, Alright, so I'm going to actually add, this is already edited and I'm going to go ahead and add a sky to it. I want to use my sunburst sunset right there because I really want to get make it look like he's kind of going towards the sun there. So I'm going to grab this. I have both of my windows open. I'm just going to drag it away from the bar on the top and then drag it on top. Go ahead and edit, retransform. And by doing that, I can move it however I want. I'm going to go ahead and make the sun a little bit bigger. And kind of have it peeking out over the hill. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And let's go ahead and lower the opacity. That way I can just look at where I'm putting it on the horizon there. And I'm going to go ahead and blur this layer. So I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I'm going to blur it a good amount. Just because the background's pretty blurry, I want to make it consistent. I'll click OK. I'm going to mask it. And I'm going to double click on my mask button and I'm going to invert my mask. And so by inverting it, what I'm doing is I'm hiding the layer and I'm just going to paint back in the areas that I want where I want the sky to show. So I want to make sure that my foreground color is set on white. Oops, let me change that. There we go. And let's start with a low opacity on my paintbrush. I've got it at 31% right now. And as you can see, I'm just painting that sky right in. There we go. Do it again. And I'm slightly brushing over the trees as well. Sometimes you can get away with it, but sometimes you can't. So it just kind of depends on the picture. a little bit more. I'm going to up my opacity there and, and also increase the opacity on the overall layer you can see right there. So I'm increasing that quite a bit. So I'm going to increase that actually to about 90%. And now it's kind of bleeding a little bit over there, over the trees where it's looking a little bit off. So I want to definitely fix that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change my foreground color to black. And by doing that, I'm, I'm hiding the sky again. I'm just kind of brush over real fast. Reduce the opacity, just kind of fade it in. I really like to make sure that I kind of blend everything in well. All right, so that's with the sky and I want to blend it in just a little bit more so I'm going to increase my brush size and reduce the opacity. And I'm going to make this part lighter to where the sun's at just because naturally the light's a little bit brighter there and I'm going to make this part dark up here. So I'm going to go ahead and change my foreground color again. Oops, change my opacity first. There we go. All right, so that's how I add a sky. You can see right there, I'm going to go ahead and Merge that together and let's see. I'm going to add an action to it real quick. Just run something on it. Um, what do I want? Okay, so I'm going to pull one from the Freedom Collection. 
do a little fire, warm it up. That way we're getting kind of blending in the sky and the overall picture because you want to make sure that your sky and the picture, you want to make sure that when you're editing it, they really go together. All right, so I did a little fire and now I'm going to run Fall Freedom Mat. And I'm going to go and take out the adding warmth because it doesn't really need to be that warm. So I'm going to take that down to about 33% and reduce the brightness of it to about 20% and we are done. So there's before and after with the sky.